Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. First things first, you might think, why on earth are you wearing black lipstick and why do you look like that? Why are you gothic today, Charlotte? Well, the answer is, um, <laughs> it's Wednesday evening and I've just been filming some like clips for a reel for my Halloween Horror Nights outfits. And I had this black lipstick, I ordered it off Amazon for Horror Nights. So I thought I'd just put it on with the outfits really to see what it looks like. But as we can see, my big bubba lips are far too big for black lipstick so i'm gonna tone it down i'm gonna go for like a cherry red or a really deep red we'll see i've got options that i need to try we've still got time but in any case <laughs> just wanted to get that elephant like out of the room is that the saying do we get the elephant out of the room do we uh, we address the elephant this elephant and they are elephants let's be honest they've been addressed this vlog is all about my outfit planning and how I plan my outfits for Universal Studios Orlando and generally just a Florida trip. I'm going to have to go and take this lipstick off because I can see myself in the screen and I can't take this suitable. So goodbye for now Beetlejuice and I'll be right back. There we go guys. Normality restored. We're back to pink. Yeah. That took a while, would not recommend to a friend, but there we go. Right, so this vlog is kind of niche, it's just about my outfit planning for our upcoming trip to Universal for Halloween Horror Night. So, uh, you've probably heard me say a million times now that we are just doing mainly Universal this time. We do have one day at Disney, so I've been able to do a little bit of Disney outfit planning as well. Not as much as usual, and usually my Disney outfit planning is like, what is one of the most fun things in the lead up to the trip so i love doing like themed outfits so i always go for pastels for magic kingdom obviously like animal print or like animally colors or animal you know animal themed stuff for animal kingdom park epcot is always a tricky one but we work with it i think last time i did like a rainbow dress because it was the International Festival of the Arts and the logo had rainbows and things on and Hollywood Studios really varies. Like when I went for Star Wars, I went kind of Star Warsy. I had like a mustard play suit on which just went with the general vibe of Galaxy's Edge. And last time we went, it was Valentine's Day. So I had on a red dress and like red love heart sunglasses. But it, in any case, I love it. I love matching ears to outfits, bags, what have you. But with Universal, it's all a bit different and I wasn't overly sure where to start. I think I found my way. I'm gonna share it with you guys now. So first things first, I do just wanna show you my rail. It's just a bog standard clothing rail, I think from the Argos book, but you can get them in Ikea, Amazon, wherever sells good rail. <laughs> but I always do this prior to an upcoming trip, have done for absolutely years. This usually lives on the landing, but I've brought it in here just so, well, for the purpose of this video, really. But you can see already that the colour scheme is very much not my usual Florida colours. So we've got a lot of black over here for Halloween Horror Nights. I have tried to add in splashes of pink where I can. And then we've gone for like uh, burgundy Halloween colours over here. These are actually my Disney World outfits, which I'll show you in a minute. So guys, when I was unsure about where to start on this process, I went with what felt easiest for me. And that was theming like t-shirts to the things at Universal. So the films, the areas, what have you. And I just kept my eyes out really over the summer, especially into the summer sales because anything new I've had has either been from a sale or from vintage. And that's something really good about going in the autumn is that all the summer sales were on so you can pick up some good bargains but yeah i just kept an eye out for like universal themed things and here's what i found so the first purchase that i made was this et top and it says be good which he obviously says to elliot that was from h&m and it was in the teenager section so it's age 14 but as you can probably tell it's very very oversized so it fits perfectly and that was only 8 99 as well I think because it was in the kids section it was a bit less expensive but I'm going to pop that on with some cycle shorts and just my bum bag a cap I'm going cash when we do the daytimes I'm going super cash evenings I'm not but we'll get to that <laughs> next up I got this Jurassic World t-shirt I don't know why the 
there it is there's the sleeve it's all tucked in there this was a oh there it went that's why i didn't want to touch it <laughs> this one let's just, just lay it on here i'm using a lot of hangers that are really too small for my clothes they're probably paisleys but yeah this one you can see it's a little tiny bit bobbly but it doesn't matter it was a pound from vintage i think it's a primark top jurassic world fits perfectly gonna tuck it into denim shorts and bobs your t-rex similarly is this jurassic world t-shirt which again was a pound on vintage what a bargain like i'm probably never gonna wear jurassic world or jurassic park themed clothes in my day-to-day -day life like disney maybe but i'm probably not gonna walk around with my t-rex out so definitely check out vintage if you're looking for more like themed niche items and then my last theme t-shirt is this one back to the future which we all know is no longer at universal studios florida but is a big oh my goodness I'm giving up with the teensy tiny clothes hangers i'm just gonna hold it it says back to the future again it's from the kids section and i don't know what size this is again yeah age 14 it's age 14 but it's huge because it's oversized it's just really big which is great for me and this again was in the sale at next so it's meant to be 17 pounds i got it for like eight i believe but i love this i love the colors all those t-shirts are just going to go with cycling shorts really because i do like that look of cycling shorts and a big t so i've got the pink ones to go with the jurassic park with pink i've got these mint colored ones that i picked up in tk maxx actually super cheap not so long ago some gray ones there some normal material black ones just like um cotton but then i've also got the lycra next active wear cycling shorts these are my favorite they're about 15 pounds in next but they're so comfy and they're very flattering as well and they just sit really really nicely you'll see when i try them on in just a moment that they're definitely a recommendation another really good vintage find was this gryffindor sweater and it actually, look, it's from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. So it's literally theme park merchandise, less than £10. I like to think I'm a Gryffindor. I've done a couple of online quizzes and it always comes up, but that is perfect. If you guys are familiar with this channel, you'll already know that I do like to go a little bit extra. I like my dresses. I like to wear like nice outfits. I know it's a theme park, not a fashion show, but that's just what i like so leave me with that but i have of course got a few nice dresses that i'm going to wear as well this one is a little silky blue number it was in the asos sale at the end of summer and i just thought it looks like the universal globe so yeah that's the only theme i'm going with there is that it's blue like the globe so should be able to get the nice pickies on the way into the parks in that one i've got a little zebra like a uh, slip dress from new look Bought this from a friend of mine who was selling it. No particular theming. I just really like it. I guess it could loosely theming to like Jurassic World and the Reign of Kong area because of animals. But yeah, that's uh, clutching at straws really. So <laughs> I just like the dress. And this one here I actually bought for our February trip but never wore. This was an ASOS find. It's got like nice puffy balloon sleeves. And it's just a checkered pattern but it sits really nicely on and what i thought i would do is theme it in with the honey duke shop in the wizarding world because that's pink and i think i can get some pretty pictures there i've got this headband actually from kingdom dash who i'll link below but they're a small shop specializing in like disney and universally themed accessories but how cute is this? it's got like the chocolate frogs and everything on and i thought what i'd do is team that up with this dress to link it in with the theme a bit more. I've got these two as well. So this one's got like Harry and Dumbledore on it. Voldemort I think is in there as well. And then the um, every flavored beans as well, just for hair scrunchies to have during the day. They're really cute. And from there, we actually hit the Halloween Horror Nights section, which is like the dark section. These outfits, let me tell you guys, are probably some of my favourite that I've ever planned for theme parks ever. Um, you guys see me at my Disney best, so pink and girly, but my Halloween heart is black and gothic. I spent a lot of my teenage years with thick black eyeliner. I used to wear a slipknot hoodie, believe it or not. 
rock music is my favorite type of music so there's lots of sides to me and this is going to let me show my dark side these outfits I'm gonna to have to put on to show you rather than talk about it and then put in like a montage because I want them to get their full time because I love them. I literally love them. You have to let me know your fave at the end of this video. Leave me a comment down below. But I love this Halloween section so much. Guys, I'm just hoping I set the camera up well enough so you can see the full outfit. But yeah, this is Halloween Horror Nights outfit number one. As you can see, I've got a Universal Studios um, official theme park tank top on, another vintage find and, well, hello. Uh, yeah, this is like less than a five art. There's some really good universal bits on there. I can't stress it enough to like look on there prior to a trip to save yourself some pennies if you do want like branded outfits and stuff. And yeah, just a big tulle skirt, I believe that's called. Um, I actually had this skirt in white for the Disney Cruise, the Magic at Sea last year. And then again on Vinted, I saw this black one. I thought, well, that's just a Halloween dream. I'm gonna need that. And I thought they looked pretty cool together. I'll probably just put this with Converse or something, but yeah. Halloween Horror Nights number one. Horror Nights outfit number two is this like little black dress, obviously with a black bra rather than the nude one I've got on right now. But I like the kind of see-through element for the middle there it's just nice halloweeny vibes guys this next dress is an absolute vibe i love it the top half here is like a corset and it's got like the bones in it to make it go like corsety shaped and it's satin and black and like ruched at the side here i just love it and then i've got my flower crown which i'll show you properly in a minute but this is such a vibe and like there's a coven witch's house which just kind of screams to me witch like i can be a witch i really like this i know it's extra and it's kind of like evening wear maybe more than theme park wear but guys i love it and we've got to do what we love right like i want to wear what i want so next up i've got like a leather look little skirt just a short one there i have got little cycling shorts to wear underneath some of these shorter items so i'm not worried about like my butt coming out on roller coasters or anything like that not that i think it would but protect the butt seriously but there's something so halloweeny to me about like leather look i don't know what it is because it's not spooky it's not like i don't know it just reminds me of halloween and just because this outfit is kind of all black, like most of these are, I thought what I'd do is wear the fanny pack with it just to like universal it up a bit. I could put it on. Like, I need. <laughs> Guys, I'm having some troubles with the fanny pack. Like, I want to wear it around my waist, but it's too big for me. Like, it falls down. I would like to wear it kind of above the hips, but it falls right down to like the start of my butt, whereas I'd like it a bit tighter here i don't know if i'm being thick with like the strap or or what but i need to do some work on this so i can either wear it like this and that really like brightens the outfit up or i thought if i elongate the strap i can wear it round a bit more like a bag which is what i was trying to do a minute ago but obviously i've been trying to get the strap smaller so that's why it didn't look quite right then i love this so much some lovely friends of mine picked it up for me earlier on in the year. But how cool is that? Like, I love it. Literally love it. Perfect for Universal. As it's Universal anyway. But yeah, you know what I mean. Look at that. Very retro. Very cool. Guys, this is my favourite. It's a bit boobalicious, but it's only one-off. And Horror Nights is for adults, so it's not like I go to Disney booby and what have you. But I love this. I literally feel like... Sarah Jessica Parker in Hocus Pocus because I feel like I feel like this outfit was meant for a witch so I'll be the witch I'll be a basic witch so this is like a corset and it's satiny and lovely it has the corset detail down here and it's got like the bones in just like the other one did as well I like these thick straps I think they're really nice and just they're just pretty aren't they they're really nice and then I've got this black skirt which I had anyway which is like sits up on the waist and it's all netted it's thicker up until the knees and then it goes like more see-through from the knees onwards i'm gonna wear it with black sandals and i've got a black choker with like a crystal on 
The black lips was for this. This is like my Hello Queen outfit. You could just call me Hello Queen or Basic Witch. I'll, I'll probably take either, to be honest. I'll probably take anything. <laughs> and then my flower crown. But literally, I love it. This is going to be for night one, Halloween Horror Nights, like my debut into my favourite event. You're going to come in like, like a witch from the East. And then, guys, the last Halloween outfit I'm going to wear is like a Halloween Horror Nights top. I've got like six or seven. I've got one from every year I've been to. This one's from the 30th, which I missed, but a lovely friend sent through to me. So I may well wear that one just with some denim shorts. And I've got some fishnet tights as well, which is a bit extreme, but we're going there. I really hope that you guys love my Halloween outfits as much as I do. Like, I know you don't have to put this much thought into it. You can literally sling on a pair of shorts on a top and you're fine. As well as all these specific outfits I'm showing as well. I do have like loads of denim shorts and just like comfy shorts and little vest tops packed as well in case I don't fancy it like it's gonna rain a lot while we're there I think so if I've had enough of my outfits and I just want to bung on something easy and comfy I have got that option too in the vlogs you're probably just gonna see me wearing a poncho anyway to be honest so quite glad the outfits do get a little showcase on here just in case they're hidden under a poncho the whole time right here's what we all know and love and that's my Walt Disney World outfit so I'm only there for one day trying to hit all four parks and i do have two outfits so they'll have to be like a bathroom outfit change for the second half of the day <laughs> so this t-shirt is from Diz T world who are a favorite of mine anyway check them out if you haven't already i'm sure you already know of amanda and her amazing designs but look how cute booty you pumpkin mickey autonomous colors gorgeous i'm just gonna wear that with some black shorts and my converse i do have some custom made ears coming as well from Magic Maker Ears, so can't wait to show you those. Haven't got them just yet, else I'd show you them with the outfits, but they're still in progress. And then I've got this dress from Chi Chi London, who I love. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably know that I've worked with them a few times, but I did buy this on Vinted. Guys, it was eight pounds. Chi Chi London dresses are like nearly probably 60 to 100. This was eight pounds on Vinted, which is just unreal. It came today, I hadn't realized it was petite. And when I opened it, I thought, oh no, I'm far from petite. I'm long and lanky. Um, but no, it does fit okay. And I'll wear my cycle shorts anyway. But how gorgeous is that? And it matches the color of this outfit. So this is gonna be like my Halloween Magic Kingdom outfit this year. And it's lovely, I couldn't be happier. In terms of accessories, I'm taking a couple of caps. So I've got my Universal one, which I love so much. Haven't worn yet. Again, my friends picked it up for me, but that's going to be worn every day, probably. Got this NASA one, which I don't know whether or not to take. I might do. I'll probably take my black Under Armour one as well. I've never worn a cap at Walt Disney World or Florida before in my life, so I don't know why I now feel like I need three, but apparently I do. <laughs> I bought myself a choker to go with my Halloween outfits and it's a black crystal it's like an onyx one and I love it like literally I think that's going to go so well with those outfits so I've got that I've got the flower crown these are from um Enchanted Alexandra or something like that they're so old I got them probably 2019 they're actually mini ears but I've bent the wire down to just make it into a flower crown because I'm probably not going to wear it at Disney at Halloween again but as a flower crown, that's quite lovely, to be honest. I've got various scrunchies. Like I've got a black one and a grey one like this as well, packed away. I'm going to borrow this from Paisley, like a white flower hairband, which is nice. You saw the bum bag, you saw the Harry Potter bits and bobs. And in terms of shoes, I'm just taking one pair of black sandals and apparently just one Converse. I don't know where the other one is right now, but those high tops will look good with most of the outfits I've got planned anyway. The backpack that I'm taking is this Steve Madden one, which is from ASOS. It was in the sale. It was like 70 odd down to 40 odd, which isn't bad for a decent sized backpack. And what I particularly liked is that it comes with a water bottle that matches and it like clips in there and not onto there. That's just, I don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, that's a good sized backpack. It's not too big. I like the logo on the straps. I like that it's just plain black with the silver zips. For travel day it'll be good because it's got this like laptop compartment and then I thought two compartments will also be good in the parks if things do get wet because I can kind of separate my camera and phone from said wet items. I like that a lot. And that's it really guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. 
I've enjoyed filming it for you. I've always wanted to do like an outfit planning one, but I always just run out of time and get so stressed in the lead up. But I thought I'd make time. It's probably why it's a bit frantic if it's frantic because I just don't have a lot of time on my hands these days. So everything is a bit of a rush, but I love it. I love creating these videos and I hope you guys enjoy them too. The next one you see from me is probably going to be packing for Florida and then it'll be pre-travel day. And then we're on, mate, we're off, going to Florida. We're gonna have the best time, it's gonna be amazing. Can't believe it, I'm so excited. Literally this time next week, we'll be on our way. Oh. Guys, new vlogs every Tuesday and Friday as normal. None will be missed while we're away. I'll make sure it's all covered. And yeah, see you real soon, guys.